I want to circle the wagon real quick on how we got here. Okay, first of all, we're, we're talking about insurance. We're talking about insurance with technology. This is great, but this has not always been relevant. So how did we get to this relevant conversation? So cyber insurance has existed for a while. Actually, it was created back in uh, the late 90s. And it was mainly out of the failure of somebody saying, look, I don't want to get sued because of what my technology may or may not do, right? That's how it started. And, and then it kind of grew out of, well, I don't want someone to sue me because they use my technology, they, they embed it with a virus and they want to they, they sue me later on. And then all of a sudden it kind of got to more first party coverages where, oh, wait a minute, I could be you know fined or penalized and now I need to be basically, I'm responsible and liable for anything that my business does when it comes to the information that I am a steward of. And guess what? Now I'm liable to other third parties. So we saw in the market that folks really started paying attention to this around 2015 and, and, and making specific investments on what we'll call, I'll, I'll address this later, but standalone policies. Um, and, but it was a slow churn. And that really was just kind of a, you know, not many folks were touching the stove to know it was hot yet, right? They didn't, they didn't actually experience a breach, but they were hearing it a lot. They were hearing, oh, I heard, did you see this in the news? Did you hear about so-and-so? And then it really started to ramp up. Ransomware came into play. And then we started seeing industries that weren't really going to, we didn't think would be targeted. They became main targets. I mean, we saw education start to get hit. We saw manufacturing. Um, and so where we are today is carriers weren't prepared. That's the honest truth. They weren't prepared for that huge shift so quickly. This is not a fast moving industry. And because of that, all of a sudden to get cyber insurance, the game changed. It wasn't just that you needed to have a few pieces of information to qualify. It's like, wait a minute, we actually need to make sure you have what we know is important to have to lower your risk. And those, that's, I mean, for Brian and Chad, I know you guys are nodding because these are the components you already provide today, but insurance is finally catching up. <laughs>